the wonderful Fraser Island, Gurry, as it is known traditionally to the locals. How amazing is this place? Look at the colours of the water, it's beautiful. There's our boat out there. This is a little part of the 123 kilometre beach. I have to say, this would probably be my favourite place that we've been to in this whole journey. Love it here, just gorgeous sand for miles. It's beautiful. And there's my husband getting the kitty litter for Bob. And Bob's waiting back at the boat. I'll be sitting. Shells too. We found a few, haven't we? But yeah, there's nice. plenty out there. Oh, gorgeous! But just be nice to get a big one. The big it's one. How beautiful is this place? Baz is going to use his drone today for the first time in a long time and here we go he's going to let the drone go and do some beautiful um, drone footage of Fraser Island and this 123 kilometer long beach beautiful going over the boat what a beautiful magic spot Ooh, here she goes. footage over the boat. Look at the colours of the water here, it's just pure paradise. Baz is concentrating really hard. How are you going there babe? Just don't bring it down in the water. Here we are, this is Kingfisher Bay on Fraser Island and you can see all these thousands of little soldier crabs here. Ooh, they're not my favourite little friends. Harmless, but ooh, tacky little creatures aren't they? But here I'll give you a close up if I can get them for you. Nice. Ew, soldier crabs. Yeah. It's quarter past one. Super low tide here at Kingfisher. Yep. We're just coming in now to have a little wander around the island for a little bit and then come back a bit later on for dinner tonight. A date night. It's been a week since we had a date night. <laughs> This is the sandbar at Kingfisher Resort. Really cool for families to go in there. They have great lunches and dinners. Oops. This place is beautiful. Although it does have over 200 dingoes on this island and snakes, venomous as well. And, <laughs> and some crocodiles. Yeah. Very rarely. Really? There's all the cars getting ready to go back on back the barge. Back on the barge, yep. Pretty cool. I was joking with the crocodiles, by the way. But 
The readings do say that sometimes crocodiles have been seen here. Correct? Yeah. <laughs> Rarely. But they do say also that it's not safe to swim here because of the sharks and the riptides that we get Very through. Very strong current. Very strong current, which we found out the other night, right? <laughs> yes. <laughs> here on the Kingfisher Bay Resort, we've got a village store, four-wheel drive hire, discovery centre, which we're about to go to as well, beauty salon, a little day spa, really does have it all. This is definitely one of my favourite places that we've seen so far, Baz. What do you think? Oh, yeah, it's awesome. There we go. Really, really cool place. Gurry, Gurry, Fraser Island. Okay, here we are, coming into the Discovery Centre on Fraser Island. Let's go. Well worth a visit. Discover lots. It's beautiful. This is the little discovery centre. Welcome. Let's find out how many snakes and how many dingoes are on this island. Mm. As I said before, swimming is not recommended in Gary's seas because of the strong rips, sharks and stingers. Mm. We're going to catch up in the water here. There are over 200 dingoes on Gary Island. And does everyone know what to do if you see a dingo? If the dingo comes close to you. One, stay calm. Two, stand your full height and be confident. Show body language that is confident. Face them, do not approach them. And if you're with someone else, stand back to back and surround any children with adults. Maintain eye contact and confidently and loudly call for help. Do not run or wave your arms or feet. If necessary, strike at the dingo with a stick or any other object available, but this is only a last resort. And if possible, move calmly away to a safe area, such as a vehicle or a fenced area. So to some people, dingoes look very much like a domestic dog in size and stature, but don't treat them like a dog. Here they say do not feed dogs and dingoes, their safety and yours. Razor Island has its own funnel web spider, and because it's been genetically isolated, I reckon it's probably one of the most potent spider venoms in the world. There are also 19 species of snakes on the island, and a third of them are dangerous, including the death adder and the good old dive ant, an eastern brown snake, just to name a few. Jeff's most scary nightmare is a shark. So during spring, the waters of Gurry are a nursery for juvenile white sharks for up to four months. And they strongly recommend that you don't swim at Fraser Island because of sharks. This is a shot of one of the beautiful whales out here. These majestic humpback whales are seen between July and October each year. We were very fortunate to see some beautiful whales out there. Such beautiful times out in the water here. This is the beautiful Lake Mackenzie, where we're going to walk to tomorrow. It's a 22 kilometer round trip walk, and yeah, we'll share that with you tomorrow when we go. Lake Mackenzie, look at that shape of a heart. Time. Exactly. This is the entrance to Kingfisher Resort. Beautiful. This is where we'll be coming for dinner tonight. This is the Sand Bar Cafe. Coming in here for a nice coffee. Look at this beautiful pool for the kids to swim in. Great spot for families. There's Baz down there. We're going to pick up some fresh sand from the beach as well for Bob. That's his treat. This kitty litter. This 
is truly my number one place to come. Fraser Island, Kingfisher Bay Resort, absolutely the ultimate. Top spot, must do on your bucket list. It was interesting when we were in the Discovery Centre, uh, the logging. So Fraser had been logged in the 1860s. Mm -hmm. And some of the trees, I think it became a national um, was it United Nations or UNESCO, UNESCO. Mm -hmm. uh, World Heritage Site, I think in the 70s after um, some footage was released in the 70s of, of the logging, but they were cutting down trees that were over a thousand years old. So I think the, the world got up in arms about it and then it became a, a World Heritage Site. But it's, yeah, it's certainly got amazing history. Sure does. <laughs> We're going in to Kingfisher Bay Resort for yeah. dinner. We've just left Bob in charge of the vessel. Yeah, and they're burning off. Got smoke mm. hazy there is everywhere. smoke everywhere over there. Look. Yeah, look at the burn off. Oh. Nice. So we'll stink like smoke. Yeah, smoky. <laughs> but we're going to the Sunset Bar now for drinks. Sunset bar. It's date night. Kingfisher. Kingfisher. Mm. And we're at this beautiful bar here. How cool is this? Oh, Bean bags on the beach. Mm -hmm. And amazing, amazing sunset. Yeah. And yeah, it's with my beautiful. favourite person in the world. <laughs> <laughs> and Cheers. it's date night. Cheers. It is. is this restaurant here. Amazing. Cheers, my darling wine. It's to date night at Kingfisher, which is that to be one of our favourite spots to come to, particularly towards the end of our trip. Fantastic to be here, fantastic to be with you. Cheers, my darling husband. Happy date night and we are in restaurant heaven because we haven't been to a restaurant for a long time and it is the most amazing place, Kingfisher Bay Resort, restaurant, sand and wood and absolutely beautiful, best company, best wine and best place ever to come. Put it on your bucket list. Here's our local brew too. Oh yes. And not a bad drop either. It's quarter to nine, Saturday the 27th, 27th? 27th of August, we never know what day it is. No, <laughs> um, we've just set out on our 22 kilometre walk to Lake Mackenzie yeah. and we've just registered with the walking register so that you log in safety first, it's a really good thing here. Um, there are a lot of bushfires around here on Fraser Island at the moment but not where we're walking so Stick with us and we'll take you to Lake Mackenzie. You guys are coming up. We are wearing our appropriate shirts for today. In case we get lost. I'm with him. He's with me. Yeah. In case one of us go missing. Yeah, I know, know there's another one. one. <laughs> We're now entering Dingo territory. So, do you remember what we have to do, Baz? Stay calm, 
stand still, stand back to back, quietly call out confidently, help. <laughs> I don't think anyone will help us out here though. <laughs> but this is dingo territory, so good luck. beautiful place Lake Mackenzie it's the shape of a love heart and we have a beautiful little Mackenzie at home as well and she's like a little love heart to us as well Lake Mackenzie Not to bring food here because of the dingoes. I'm not feeding the dingoes, I'm feeding me. <laughs> but we're hungry. <laughs> I might that's have to eat my walk. tilly earrings. Uh, it's two hours 15 basically. Yeah. Yeah, from the start. Yeah, yeah. but it's a really lovely walk. It's a really yeah. easy walk, I'd say. Yeah, it's a few it's, just, it's long. Yeah, it's long. It's like the tracks are really nice and wide. Yeah, wide easy, tracks. easy to follow. And it's all really undercover from the beautiful big gum trees. Yeah. And yeah. It's just a bit of soft sand every now and again. It gets pretty soft, so it's a bit harder walking. And but a couple of little inclines, but nothing dramatic. No. No. Glad we made it. No. Tip of the day. <laughs> Hi, oh, hi Jamila, it's Steph and Baz here and we just wanted to talk to you about this little turtle. Turtle on the beach here. Yeah, unfortunately we've washed up and after the flooding, water quality in the, the Great Sandy Strand. Oh, really sad. Yeah, it sure does. Just leaving Kingfisher. Final trip actually. Mm, so tomorrow we'll head south down towards uh, the bar, mm -hmm. get a one or two nights until we get a good weather window and then we'll cross. Sad. But just beautiful. You want to pan around. Have a look at this. What a place. Sunset drinks, Jenny Bar. Look at this place. Unbelievable. 